G'day there everyone, and uh, this is actually a really special video for myself because in 2014, when I took my very first Deep Space Astro image, I never thought I would be at this stage. I never thought I would be helping so many people around South Australia, and maybe even the world, capture their very own astrophotography images. It's amazing what one photograph, what journey one photograph can take you on. And from all that, I'm here sharing with you all what I like to do, what my passion is. And it's also your passion too, astrophotography. I think we have a really great community. But the reason that this is, is so special is that I've also been, how can I put this, egged on by you guys as well. Not everyone would know that I started off with one racer. And then I went to two because of you guys. And then I got egged on a bit more and looked in the comments and I went to three. Now, Will it ever make a fourth? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, who knows? If, uh, if these guys egg me on enough in the future, maybe there might be a fourth. I don't know. But I'm excited to say that I'm now finally building my observatory. After two years of, or almost two years of moving into my new home, getting up all my fencing, building all my retaining walls, getting all the council approvals for everything. It's finally happening. And in 2026, my goal is to be just shooting some of the most magnificent stuff that I have ever photographed in my whole life. I really hope that um, I can push the boundaries in my own photography um, and push the boundaries of my equipment. Um, Triple Rass has definitely pushed the boundaries of many things. But uh, the Big Newt as well, and capturing galaxies and targets very deep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Now, enough about all that. Let's get started with building the observatory. The first thing I did was marked out where all my holes were going to go. After all the holes were marked out, I began digging and thankfully I have the digger here to give me a hand. The very hot summer weather we've been having along with clay soil makes the ground extremely tough. I couldn't imagine doing this by hand. It would just take forever and it was bad enough I got burnt uh, on this day. The next stage of my observatory build uh, was the mock-up stage where I placed all the posts into the ground and mocked up uh, the shape of the observatory just to make sure that all my uh, holes were in the, the right spot and my spacing was all correct. Once I was happy with how everything was uh, set I then began to mix up the concrete and uh, tipping that in the holes making sure that everything was level and squared as I was going along because if I hadn't done this, things would be uh, a lot trickier later on, especially when the roof was to go on. You want to make sure everything is square and so far, so good. The challenges with South Australian weather is the dry heat and it can get very hot. So I wanted to make sure that there was a barrier in place. Try and keep things a little bit cooler on the inside uh, while keeping all the extreme heat on the outside. So that's why I added the sarking in place. By adding this and creating a little bit of a 25mm gap between the cladding and the, and the sarking itself, um, it allows airflow to, uh, to go through to help cool some of that air and that way it keeps the interior of the observatory a little bit more cooler. Not much, just, just enough. Also, I didn't want to trap the heat inside uh, as well so 
I've left a little bit of ventilation and that way when the observatory does open up uh, for night for cooling it's not going to create too many uh, heat vortexes which are going to um, uh, influence uh, the data. Today is the big day. Today's the day we try and get the roof onto the uh, observatory now. This is going to be a challenge. Uh, luckily I have a few friends coming around that uh, hopefully will give us enough manpower to lift that roof up. It is heavy. Um, so uh, yeah, today's going to be uh, an exciting but, uh, but interesting day. So fingers crossed. I wanted to shoot time lapse of the roof going on but I couldn't. By the time we actually got the roof on there wasn't really much of a time lapse to, to see. So as you can see the roof is on However, there is still a little bit more work to do with the uh, sarking around the observatory. It's a bit flapping in the wind. So everyone, since the, uh, the last part of the video where I've been uh, doing a lot of the sarking and the roof had only just been put on, I've been very busy. But it hasn't stopped me because the observatory is usable. Now, it's still got a bit of work to do, but uh, we are almost done and I cannot wait to show you. There's still going to be more, more work to be done to this observatory. Uh, I've got a slab to do, I've got cabling to run, and a lot of other finishing touches. I've still got the door to put on and things like that, but at least I can get imaging and there is one telescope that's already set up inside. And I have been doing hmm, a little bit of imaging with it too over the past uh, couple of nights. So. I won't share that uh, that with you right now in this video, the image, because I'm still working on it, but it is a galaxy 60 million light years away, and it looks so cool. I cannot wait to show you, and I'm so excited to be imaging again. Well everyone, I hope you've uh, enjoyed uh, this video of the observatory. There's going to be more videos to come of the observatory build, uh, including all the power I plan to, uh, the power system I plan to do for it, um, the slab, how I'm going to mount the mounts, um, which is interesting because I'd like to know your take on, the, on how you think I should do uh, my mounts, whether I do a slab and leave it on the tripods, or whether I some, uh, cement some pillars in um, some piers and, uh, and do it that way. So let me know in the comments below. I'd also like to uh, say a big thank you uh, to all, the, uh, all my friends who came over and helped me out. My neighbour, uh, Chris, Tristan, who travelled two and a half hours away um, to help uh, you know, lift the, the roof up. Uh, Kai, my dad, and, uh, and to... Um, uh, many others that have uh, also reached out. Uh, Thorn from uh, from America. Um, it's always a pleasure chatting to you, mate. And uh, and thank you for uh, you know your contribution uh, to it as well. Um, I really appreciate it. 
and to uh, Nightscape Odyssey as well, who's another uh, South Australian astrophotographer. If you haven't uh, seen his channel, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description um, for offering to, uh, to come up and help me out. And in the future, we will go out and we will uh, be collaborating with some videos in, uh, in capturing the, uh, the night sky. So uh, yeah, that, uh, that about does it for this uh, observatory build right here. I'm really, uh, really excited about it and I cannot wait to start uh, producing some images and sharing with you all uh, you know, the images that I capture in 2026. Now if this is the first video you've seen, uh, please check out some others if you enjoy them. Uh, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and until next time, take it easy. See ya.